Hi parents and welcome to my library. My name is Amanda Carey and I'm going to be your child's librarian. So I want to keep this short and simple. Um, I will make sure that you guys get a welcome letter as well as um, better detailed photos of the library. Unfortunately, I can't flip my phone to see the whole library, but I will stand up and kind of just turn. So this is our library. This is where I teach all the desks. Over here is the computer area um, and you'll see the books. And right out this door right here is our outdoor classroom, which will be important because your students, your children will have the opportunity to earn a free recess period every month. Uh, each week, the first three weeks will be worth seven minutes of recess time. And in that fourth week, if they had good behavior, the first three, they'll get a full 21 minutes of recess in the outdoor classroom. I want this here to be fun. I want to equip them with the tools necessary for their educational success. Um, so I will be trying to lay the foundation on research skills. Uh, our students are being faced with information left and right, even more so than any other generations. And so I want them to have the ability to decide what's true, what's fake, and have the skills to find the answers to their own questions. So I plan on laying that foundation in a fun and engaging and interactive way. Um, all of my lessons, I will try to create an engaging uh, atmosphere because I want my students to come in here and say, I love library and I feel like I've learned something. Um, I also want to encourage a love of reading. So we will do book exchange this year. Uh, I know we could not do that last year, but we will this year. Um, I'm going to have books exchanged twice a month during weeks two and weeks four. September is gonna be a little bit off because of just how we got started. Um, but October on, it will consistently be during weeks two and weeks four. So your student will exchange their books every two weeks. Um, and I just ask all of you to help encourage proper book care. But I know our students are excited for that and I'm so excited for this school year. Uh, if you ever have any questions, please never hesitate to reach out to me. Um, you can reach me via email, carrieA at eht.k12.nj.us or the phone number is 609-927-8222, extension 1290. So please never hesitate to reach out. I look forward to getting to know your students and I'm always here to help you as well. Thank you, have a wonderful day. Hello, Slayball Elementary. My name is Miss Moore. I'll be teaching your children music this year. We'll be singing, dancing, expressing ourselves on musical instruments, learning more about the staff and everything that has to do with music. We hope you enjoy your year. Welcome to Slayball Elementary. I'm Mrs. Ratchford, and we're your gym, gym teachers. teachers. Please remember your gym days. Remember to bring your sneakers. And don't forget a water bottle. We're excited for a great year. Hi everyone, I'm Ms. Nardoon. I am the technology teacher for second and third grade here at Slayball Elementary. I want to welcome you to our lab. You can see behind us all the computers that we have going on. Um, I do make sure to keep our lab safe by wiping down the keyboards and mice. After each class, the children come in and they hand sanitize, and when they leave, they sanitize. So I make sure that we have a safe environment. This year, we will be learning um, everything Google. <laughs> we'll be doing um, Google Sheets, Google Slides, uh, Google Docs. We'll be using it all. So they are not expected to become masters of any of these, but we will be exposing the children to the, these different Google products. Also, we will take a lot of time on coding to start the children on coding. If we are lucky, we might be able to get to use some of our cool robots. And we will use other internet-based programs for typing, um, for writing, and things of that nature. We will also, I will teach them different sites for math. 
where they can practice their addition, subtraction, multiplication, all those good um, facts so they can learn their facts easier that the children love to do. If you ever have any questions, feel free to email me at nardonea at eht.k12.nj.us. I'm available anytime. Have a great school year and I will see you all soon. Hi, I'm Mrs. Tom. I'm the art teacher. Welcome to art. The art room is a very exciting, awesome, and inspiring place. Let's go inside. Sometimes in the hallway, you may find some things to keep you busy before I invite you in. Students line up in the hallway and they stop here. We are at the very end of the hallway. Let's check it out. So when the boys and girls come in their room, they always want to check out Rosie and her way to respect the supplies, which is always full of great helpful hints and reminders. Come in a little further and you will see our sinks for cleaning up and hand washing, our beloved sharpener, our art tree, because everyone celebrates art all the time, work tables, our beautiful American flag, where our sketchbooks live, where we get to free draw and doodle when we finish a project early. Everyone's favorite, marker heaven. These markers will be recycled and made into new other markers by the lovely people at Crayola. When boys and girls come in their room, when they leave the room, they line up on this dotted line you see right here. The desks are in groups, but they have dividers to keep everyone safe and they are grouped according to either primary or secondary color. That's how I call them to line up at the door. Boys and girls come to me once a week for 40 minutes at a time where we get our art on and all kinds of awesome creative things are made, created and learned in this space. Here's our art discovery corner with our awesome scrap pool. No diving please, too shallow, no lifeguard on duty. Plenty of roll paper for creating, extra sinks. That's the art cart, which hopefully we'll never have to ride again. Here is the art closet where students are not allowed, but there's a lot of fantastic materials that live in there. Our drying rack, Francisco the sock puppet helps keep everybody safe when they're taking things to the drying rack so their projects can rest and dry and be ready for creating another day. Steve and Pickles. The front of the room. This is a magical, awesome place. I don't really have hair like this, but on Wednesdays, I wear wigs. I wear a different wig every Wednesday, and I love to wig out. So if your kids have me on Wednesdays, they'll see a different crazy wig every week. But normally, I look like this. Usually, I look like this, but these days, it's like this. We're extra safe in the art room. We do a lot of cleaning, a lot of spacing. It's a huge space. And the boys and girls, I promise, will do a lot of awesome, fantastic, and very creative things while they're in here. You'll be happy. I've been teaching, this is year 21 for me. Um, I taught second grade for six years before I moved into the art room, and this is my favorite place to be, my home away from home. So please stay tuned for all the awesome projects. Feel free to email me if you have any questions, but enjoy the hard, beautiful work that comes home. Have a great school year.